Hi, my name is Jerome Govender and I'm one of the executive directors at the JMP John Moffat Prolog Group. Contrary to popular belief, directors don't rock up at work at 9 o'clock, <laughs> have coffee and a croissant. In the office between 7 and 7.30, we catch up on half an hour emails and then we're off to production meetings. Uh, production meetings is what excites me. Uh, I enjoy it, I get involved in it, being from sales, it helps us. Once the production meeting is completed, we normally sit down with the sales team, work out what's expected, expectations, and then we get on to the rest of the stuff. Unfortunately, our work is not just sitting in the office behind a computer. We are a manufacturing environment. We love manufacturing, we love industrialization, localization, so we enjoy it and we spend a large amount of time physically at clients, clients' facilities, our factory facilities, etc. All sales driven but heavily focused on manufacturing. I'm a product of public schooling and it all grew into further and further studies so I uh, completed my high school in KZN in 1994 then went on to TUT to further my studies and from there decided to further it on with the sales and marketing applications. Uh, I was fortunate enough to be spotted by General Electric in the USA as an up-and-coming black entrepreneur and was funded for a business acceleration program. Um, one of 20 people, one of 20 odd people in South Africa were chosen for that. that for me was the key driving factor that made me enjoy business, manufacturing and the biggest scale. It was a course that if available to everybody else uh, as entrepreneurs must be considered. The direct impact of the studies that relate to my business today has to be the economic sections of it, economic studies, the business management studies, and international understanding of manufacturing. Those are the direct studies that actually impacted on the position I entail or enjoy today. An academic base is always important for any position. It gives you the basis of understanding. However, I think we all understand that industries are different, um, executive teams are different, CEOs are different, so there's nothing that would be more encouraged than on-the-job training and work experience. Coupled with experience, which I would believe is a large portion of it, uh, academics and experience would mold you into the person you want and the direction you want to flow. However, I must say I'm one of the old-fashioned people that always believes in continuous learning and I'm always questioning new ideas, new things, and I believe you're never too old to learn, and that's why I will continue furthering my studies. So throughout my working career, I was very fortunate to have strong mentors. Um, they were easy on exposing great ideas, uh, helping me, but um, there are probably three or four guys that stand out that actually build me, um, to, that build my character and build me as a person. So there's no individual person. Uh, wherever I go, I try and find a mentor in that sort of industry that will have direct impact on me in the short term. So the culture of JMP has an open door policy, which basically means that our interaction is not limited to just managers, etc. We interact with people on the shop floor, people on the sales team, etc. Interaction is not limited. It, uh, it does give us a better idea on the problems and the concerns that are happening on the ground and allows us to react a little bit quicker if need be. My reporting structure at JMP is I report directly to the CEO. I'm fortunate enough, it's some way unfortunate I suppose, that his office is directly next to mine. So our interaction is continuous in the course of the day. It does have its benefits. We get to we get to dive into immediate problems and resolve it as quick as possible. It's not long planning, sitting in meetings, etc. We try and do that as much as possible. Apart from the normal economic challenges in the likes of strikes, service deliveries, uh, procurement of raw materials, I think the biggest challenge would be trying to convince international investors and international companies that South Africa does have the ability to manufacture local high quality products. That would possibly be the biggest challenge. The challenge would be to convince them that we have the capabilities, the technical skills to actually give them a world class product. If I had to choose the favorite part of my job, it would be the part that involves designing a product, coming up with a solution, and trying to localize it compared to our international opposition. If I have to mention other exciting things, it'll be, it'll be solving problems of customers. 
Throughout my work life, I think my, my focus was largely on the sales on the sales and the production. I really wish I could grow more on the engineering side. I believe that will give me a more holistic understanding of manufacturing in the South African environment. We've been fortunate enough to redirect our company in the next five years. So I'm actually quite lucky that the engineering targets that I'm aiming to achieve and that aspect would come with the growth of JMP in the near future.